if I start over again, it'll be a case of try and do what I can without looting containers as much as possible. I think that would be really hard though early on because you get some really that's how you get some early boosts of like uranium and iridium and stuff without just having to walk everywhere that's also the only place you get fabric I feel as well come to think of it so I think that's probably just impossible but I guess you can just be mindful like yeah you're not going to be able to pick up no crates but hopefully you can get away with picking up or leaving a decent number. Yeah, because the only fabric you need is for your agility boots early on. So once you have those, then don't worry about like a bed and stuff like that. I really wish you could deconstruct the chairs and stuff that you see in Rex. Nothing behind these waterfalls. Dust storm kind of making it hard to see game. Thanks container yeah i haven't been here at all that's what i thought it's a really nice area this is real jurassic park style which i do remember saying so maybe i have been here but i just haven't gotten everything my inventory was probably already full we should check behind some waterfalls too i will go chasing waterfalls oh, another crate so many more rocket engines and now we're full. <laughs> and that's the thing, is that as soon as you start going foraging, you fill up very quickly. Oh, and here's the ocean. Ooh, there's a little cove around here, though. Anything? Oh! Golden chest. There we go. Oh, golden effigy of a fuse. That's a new one. Terror tokens. Okay, now I'm going to have to be selective. <laughs> I mean, I don't need the iron on me for a start. Pulsar quartz. Those. Flares. I kind of want to just drop the flares. I mean, I can just leave the chest here. It gives me an aluminium and a super alloy, which isn't that useful. We've got the good stuff out of it. I'm glad I came around here. <laughs> I knew there was going to be something. I'll just fly up the waterfall. Is there anything else? No, I think that it makes sense that there would be something, and it makes sense there would only be one something. Everything else is just for fun. There's a crash satellite, though. They always have tons of stuff. Oh, another energy multiplier fuse. Cool, cool. So, I definitely feel like it would be worth going to... We're also getting more spacesuits. I've got this Tyrio one. What am I currently wearing? Blasto. Oh, yeah, because it's pink and purple. I'll keep that, thanks. Um, I mean, tier one fertilizer. I feel I shouldn't bother with gathering bacteria samples really because that's so easy to make it's water and algae um, but you could say the same about a bunch of stuff that i've picked up well i think i have to go back again at least i got another pulsar quartz that's that's something only one but it's something it's not quite enough to be useful another crate anything useful eh tier tokens other than that, not really. There's another crate over here as well. Alright. Well, this is kind of on my way to get here, so that's good. Oh! Okay, this one's full and it's got good trees in it. That's mildly absurd. Can I just drop something real quick? That I can then just pick up? Let's just drop those. Grab these. Put those in there it's got another pulsar quartz too actually that's fine but yeah those are good trees noise okay be yeah, a straight line west basically it's pretty much yeah due west almost from our oasis base how's that not gold box loot i know right that's absurd easy mutagen can be left yeah true there's a lot of stuff I can leave behind these days. I don't have to loot everything. It's just the loot goblin in me just does not want to leave anything behind, even though I'm not using it productively. <laughs> uh, right. Let's go over to where we're boosting our plants. 
I mean, oxygen is not that useful, it must be said. But 250 for 1200, I think that's a pretty good trade deal. Uh, 150 for 1200, there we go. What do we have in here? Rubbish, really, to be perfectly honest, but that's fine. <laughs> More bee larvae. I have more bee larvae than I know what to do with at this point, which is a bit of a problem. That's the downside to upgrading the uh, the tier 2 beehives, I feel, is now I get too many of those. Now, we've got... Uh, it's a slightly different red one. They're, yeah, they're not great, but they're not bad, so that's fine. They can go in these just as a, a secondary. It's just more colour. It's just nice tanks my frame rate <laughs> the bitrate probably is miserable around here because it's just so overwhelmed but first we want to go exploring again that's the the thing i set out to do really this uh episode really is uh send them through the recycler machine and get their parts back true true let us be just ruthlessly break down bee larvae into their component parts but they give uncommon larvae and i would probably prefer to have common for making amphibian farms um or rare for doing better butterflies so that was just those i'm just going to leave that there it's close enough to a base anyway that i don't need to worry about it i think the the crates that i know where they are and what they contain i just leave for now and i worry about exploring the places i haven't yet been <laughs> That, that makes sense, right? Ooh. Ooh. Super alloy time. We are probably going to die. Because we'll just get pummeled. We need to, like, wait behind a rock somewhere. To just hope that we manage to dodge things. I mean, maybe we just stay a while and gather a ton of super alloy real quick. And go back to base. Because we were getting low. Which is kind of useful. I can find the damn things. There we go. And hope that we don't get hit with more of them. That was close. There is nothing stopping them striking the same place twice, I'm fairly sure. Even in quick succession. I mean, I would wait. Whoop, that one <laughs> physically flinched because it was coming right at me. <laughs> There's a clip. Ow. Yeah, I just got hit. I don't have any food on me if I get smacked again, so I, I just want to stay off to the side and come in and collect afterwards, I think. We grabbed a bunch early on. That's silicon. You know what? Silicon is useful. largely subsided let's grab what we can and i guess we get every time i try and do something the game just goes no back to base with you i wish you had a, a vacuum chip <laughs> that's something that's in a lot of different games is the ability to hoover up re nearby resources that would be really handy After you've unlocked drone technology, have a vacuum drone that you can install into your suit. That will then collect nearby resources, like based on a, again, like a supply and demand sort of thing. So you tell it what you want to gather, which will pretty much always be super alloys <laughs> for these sorts of events. That would be nice. Okay, back to base we go again immediately. Super alloy locker is OP thanks to ore extractors and drones. Yeah, true, true. Okay, that goes all in there. There we go, nice and full. Meanwhile, aluminium to turn them into rods now. So, what does the animal spreader rocket require? Oh, okay, I guess that's what you use the genetic extraction for. Ah, bee larvae. <laughs> We need to make a genetic extractor. Assuming they're not too big. No, extractor and synthesizer. There we go. We've got them. 
And yeah, we can just chuck in some bee larvae. Perfect. <laughs> I found a use for them. That one was just going to give me rubbish, probably, but... Yeah, funnily enough, they all give me the same thing, but... Oh well, that's five of them. At least it's quick, too. I like that. There's a silkworm as well. So that's five. We need six for a rocket. This will be ten. Fifteen, and we'll have three extra. So the silkworm gave me something slightly different. Different species. Okay. So we'll keep that one, I guess. And we'll use the... Just the generic B ones for rockets. Okay. And we are good to go. And we are just going to boost our animal stats. What do these even look like? There was fish in there. Yeah, okay. We're just sending fish to space. All right. Have fun. It's raining fish. Hallelujah. Over over the items in the machine to see which different ones I'll give you. I will. For now, I just wanted to get rid of a bunch of bees. <laughs> the GTI is going to accelerate again. If I really wanted to, I could also boost my like pressure and stuff again. Because the thousand multiplier, now that I've got the big drills, is just going to just zoom. Um, I could also send up more insect spreaders as well. Really. There's nothing stopping me doing that. 7,500 insects, 7,500 plants, 3,500 animals. Animals we have now got, we're 23% to mammals, fantastic. Look at the animals go, they are ticking. It'll be, well, it'll still take us a while to get to the kiloton range. I don't know if we ever really do. Oh yeah, one kiloton or we get the tier 4 jetpack. Nice. It's blue instead of orange for some reason. I don't think it lets you truly fly. I'm sure you're still hampered by being able to, like, having to stay close to the ground. Animal multiplier 350%. Nice. So we, we still need to place down more and more and more of those. And now we can just fire off five more insect rockets in quick succession. <laughs> it's raining bees. <laughs> The bees! <laughs> Another one. I'm just making sure that it's clear of the launch pad before we send off the next one, because I don't want it to make inside. Though that is kind of funny, to be fair. It is interesting that they let you. And you can set it launching before it's even fully finished crafting as well. Three. Four. Or the fish, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, fish will be next, don't you worry. Interesting that you don't just insert fish eggs. There's our generic frog eggs. There we go, that's all for them. So we're going to need to make five more uh, rocket engines is the thing. Oh, uh, there was tons in the crates actually, so no, I don't think I do. I just need to go and loot those crates again. Anyway, I want to explore. We'll get the rocket engines and we'll see what else we can find. And then we're going to finish up because I'm hungry and need lunch. And that means I don't think clearly. <laughs> so we managed to get to this point before when we had a super alloy storm. <laughs> we'll see if we get anything else. Honestly, a super alloy storm I would just ignore at this point. I don't need more right now. My locker is now full again. Uh, the only thing I would really stop and gather from would be a pulsar quartz asteroid. Where was the other container? There, was, there we go. You. No, you didn't. But osmium rod I do want. Tier 2 mutagen is useful. The others can stay there for now. Okay. No, maybe we didn't leave behind rocket engines. I thought I did. I thought I put them somewhere. Did I put them in the golden chest? No, I put the flares in there. Okay, well. I can... I'll look at the footage when I'm doing the highlights in, I don't know, a month's time. Month's time. Months time. A little longer than a few minutes later. 
let's go this way we've still got half our inventory so that's fine i i was gonna get teleporter ingredients in case i want to bamf back without having to come all the way through i can go through the zeolite cave at least to get back to the main base but now let's explore shall we and let's see what's under here there's a cave going that way and a cave going this way this one's smaller golden chest makes sense all right terror tokens i like that rare lava sure we can ditch that easily enough if we find more important things also kind of wish that i put um there's more stuff along here i wish i'd put it on the relaxed mode so i didn't lose inventory when i died so then i could just death walk back to base <laughs> generic frog eggs it's fine I, I shouldn't probably pick those up but i don't know if i'm coming back this way uh this this container was easier to come back to so i think i'm actually going to put some stuff back in here yeah because that was an it's an easier one to get to it's not too far whereas this goes down okay we are we now are playing subnautica apparently don't know which way to go first i should, probably should have taken the smaller one yeah there's more stuff that way i'm gonna go the smaller one there's like some girders or something so someone else has been here what about this direction a chest okay well a rocket engine i will take that the other stuff i'll leave it's fine i know it's there what can we find this way this is where our oxygen tank is still useful <laughs> so it's like upgrading your oxygen tank still handy okay big platform anything underneath first and then we'll look and see what was on top nothing underneath what do we got up here some doors to deconstruct some wreckage we can deconstruct ah it class again Dig deep to find resources to let me get off this hell. I need to find materials to craft a rocket and build a launch platform. Without a multi-tool, everything takes so much time. Yeah, he was having to do it the hard way, I guess, because he was from, like, the crashed ship or something, not a guy like us. I'm almost out of oxygen, too. Is there a air pocket anywhere? No, there's not. Okay. Okay. This is bad. This is very bad. Wow, how are we supposed to get through here in one breath? What the hell? Okay, well, we're dead. That's annoying. Well, we lose inventory. <laughs> That's weird. I mean, I, I forgot to take oxygen canisters with me because I didn't think I'd need to. So there's that. Well, that's kind of annoying. Oh, we, that said, we can drop off... We, you know, we've done a death warp of sorts it's not how we wanted to do it and we didn't get to keep all our inventory but we kept some of it which means we can put some things down now i guess this is also where you should really set up a um like drones or something you just set up a whole supply chain that you just dump all your stuff your inventory into a tier two locker at the, the opening of your base and then you have drones that will just sort everything out for you. I won the bit with myself that you're going to drown down there. Yeah. You, you forget that you need to pay attention to your oxygen, right? Also. Let's take teleporter ingredients with us. So it restricts the amount that we can carry back. But we can now like loot those other crates bamf back immediately here craft some flippers where's our ultra glide fins come on yeah oxygen drain at 3.6 per second that seems really fast <laughs> i guess that's what it used to be doing originally as well yeah the fact we didn't have any i mean i didn't go up for air again after um going the other direction um so I can put those away we'll just leave those there for now because if we're going to be putting a teleporter down somewhere then um yeah we kind of don't mind 
we should probably actually keep going through for now to find out one to get our last inventory back two to find where the air pocket actually is it's annoying that there is a little air pocket here because you, you want to stop and like investigate this okay but i know that those messages are going to be in my thing here's my crate i know that they're going to be in my pda or my messages terminal so that's fine but it's yeah it's a little bit annoying that it doesn't let you just stop and appreciate the area i guess i could have come here much earlier and it wouldn't have been flooded maybe that's the lesson you just need to explore literally everywhere before you start terraforming anything <laughs> so you don't even get to like lakes level are we missing anything special around here just want to make sure that we don't miss any bits well this is cool this is kind of like abzu sort of architecture coming up here it sort of reminded me of a little bit it's like the abzu lost city area so we've got an altar up here we have a box well, i can read this one waiting for certain death is not selfless that's right because there was like an asteroid and the other guys were like oh well some of us have chosen to leave before the inevitable right and leave destruction behind if you want to join us use this chip to find 10 keys we left behind on this planet and place them in an extraction capsule okay interesting so yeah because the other area the other warden place they were like uh oh, doom is coming for us all oh well never mind we tried and gave up <laughs> it makes sense that some of them weren't quite so nihilistic about the whole thing what's up here 